Hi, I'm Bob Vila, and welcome to this old Titan station. Today we're going to see what's in this room. <laughs> uh, oh, chapter 15 is through this room. I am actually Phil, and this is Let's Drink to Dead Space 2, just in case you uh, totally missed the point. If you think he's actually Bob Barker? You say Barker or Marker? Stop moving! <laughs> I'm Bob Bob's Barker. The marker. I was hoping to have a few seconds to myself. Oh, honey, save that for later. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Make me pretty. Epic music. Let's loot these closets. More Hans Zimmer, maybe? Oh, I wonder what's in here. Anyway, I'm joined today for our, probably our actual Dead Space 2 finale by uh, Rachel, Emma, Tim, and Colton. Hi, Hello. Hi, everybody. Zippity doodle It's been like eight months. You guys excited to see this game finished? Yay! That thing! Alright, alright. Tim? Tim, your uh, strategy. Right. Run! That is your <laughs> mission. Just run from him, otherwise he'll get you in the corner and just hit on you. And ladies, you know you don't want that. Besides, Isaac has enough problems with exes. He doesn't need a monster added to the circle. Exactly. Yeah, if you're fucking really. Keep going, keep going, just keep going. Don't care about them. Uh... There was stuff there, and I wanted it. <laughs> I noticed you sort of hesitated. You were like, but, but Newt. What? It's shiny. What? What? Okay. <laughs> the moment you go any more forward, that thing's going to bust open and someone's going to come out. Again, ladies, you don't want that, right? <laughs> run. run, Piggy, run! Zero G puke. So hey, while we're here, what's everyone drinking? More of the rig that Phil does not have full right now. Oh. Mine is blue, his is yellow. I am drinking yet more of my unholy concoction of absinthe, orange juice, silver tequila, and uh, strawberry schnapps. This is not going to end well. I recommend it strongly. <laughs> Yo, Tim, I really feel like I'm missing out on a lot of loot. Yeah, but and a lot of thing useful is, is, stuff that I should be picking up. The thing is, is do you really want to be fighting in those closed quarters with the guy that's invulnerable? You're I don't being, know. You're like we're basically uh, outrunning him. I have taken so much damage, though. Like one oh. hit and I'm I'm done. Uh, make a second save then. Yeah. Just in case. All right, Colton, we gotta come up with a name for your drink. Can I name it? That's Shada? a good idea. Sure. Woo! I am now drinking a sugar. I did not know that they were orange. Orange seems an appropriate color. Yep. I always thought they were a little greenish. Absinthe. Ow. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so yeah. Emma, what, Emma, what you drinking? Have you ever tried that strawberry pina colada svedka? I don't believe in flavored vodkas, so I haven't. I would like to it try it. It is exceptionally good when mixed with Sprite. Damn! Well, yeah, yeah that is, I can actually right? picture that. I do. Um, Me too, I, actually. I, I don't know what to call it, but it's delicious. Colton, I highly recommend you try the cake icing flavored vodka. I've tried it, it's too sweet for my tastes. Alright, as long as you have. That's the big reason I don't much like flavored vodkas, they're too sweet. Oh, no. come on! But here on Let's Drink to Gaming, we 
highly approve of trying new things. I am currently drinking the Perfected Strauss drink, inspired by a white Russian. It is absinthe poured over ice instead of vodka with Kahlua and a splash of peppermint schnapps and then balanced out by milk to taste. It is beautiful and wonderful. Like straw. Garland? I am having a Monsters in Space from a few episodes ago. It's Pop Rocky. I've also requested my bartender mix me this as a double version. That pretty bartender sitting next to you? Yes. Yeah. I am champion mixologist on Let's Drink to Gaming. Heaven have mercy. Who is that? Is that Tideman? Is it? Yeah, it's Tideman. It says so on his name tag. Who's Tideman? Tideman is the douchebag that's been... I suppose I have to kill him, don't I? Dead Space doesn't strike me as the type of game to have a moral choice system. Is it Tywin Lannister? No. No, Tideman. Come, baby. Let's make cunnilingus. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> now. He's doing it wrong. What? That is a good response, Isaac. What? Oh my god, it's the menu! Neurons! Fuck neurons! Yours is the last body we need to be reborn. <coughs> the makers must be absorbed. The makers? You mean me? Don't die. Holy crap. <coughs> Don't inhale your drink. <coughs> Remember, folks, F it all goes in the stomach, not the lungs. <coughs> She's trying to eat your soul. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, Cut off her head, you have a free flashlight. Um, <laughs> just <laughs> just so you know, Phil. What? Yeah, you were supposed to stop her. <laughs> How? Shoot her! If she touches With what? you, she causes you Fucking to commit button. suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if she touches you, you commit suicide. I can't breathe liquor yet. One day, I will. <laughs> I, I appreciate the attempt. <laughs> <laughs> now, continue on to the right, let's finale. Do, I of thought I was still non-interactive. This is the finale of God of War. I want to point that out. So we're basically playing a game of keep away. <laughs> Gotta kill her. Kill her. Kill her! Please kill her! So I guess it's inverse of God of War? Was that now supposed to be her. harder? Now you gotta shoot that thing. Shoot the yellow. <coughs> is the motto of this game. There's also little tiny children that like to attack you. Is that symbolic? This isn't Freudian. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that like the children that Isaac will never have? <laughs> because his... With Nicole? His girlfriend is no! dead. No! I don't even get to spam me to save myself. I think EA... Nope. <clears throat> wants to perpetuate that myth that girls are evil. Or sexual symbols. I thought that was a feature. I want to perpetuate that EA is evil. But that doesn't need perpetuating. It's an obvious fact at this point. Oh, okay. <laughs> True. Stop doing that. <clears throat> So, 
were we supposed to think that Nicole was helping us out at some point? Shoot the thing! Shoot the yellow! Shoot sure. the yellow! Does EA think it's tricking us still? I'm not sure. Do they think that we're in- they're injecting the mystery? Damon Lindoff? You know what? I think Damon Lindoff should work for EA. That'd be perfect. What is going on here? Why is there no E? You were getting gang raped by children. But why? Because they want your sexy, sexy, sexy. Uh, because you let too many of them get around you. So they decide to gang rape you. Alright. Apparently, Ring Around the Rosie is a much more dangerous game in this universe. And of course, they make it incredibly <coughs> hard to see them because they're like little black ghost things on a very dimly lit area. Yeah. Hit the gun! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to reload my shit before it got too hard. That's what the toilet said. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Alright, move! Is currently rocking at point one one. I expect that the breathalyzer is I'm not entirely sure that that's accurate, but yeah, he's doing like little finger dips into the Jägermeister, so I think it's lying. <clears throat> All right, keep moving. You know, that's the point, lady. Shoot the yellow! Shoot the yellow! Shoot the yellow! Wherever it is, there it is. I like that it's shaped like a heart. Like an anatomically correct heart. But it's not moving like an anatomically correct heart. Only one side is beating. Is that... Purposeful or it's a broken heart. Probably purposeful. You it's probably think. supposed to be a broken heart or some such sentimental Aww. board. Keep moving, keep moving. Working on it. Isaac doesn't feel like jogging anymore. <laughs> there you go. Come on! Aww. Do I have to do this all on one fucking health bar? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, this is gonna be a long day, folks. What? The moral um, of this story <laughs> is... Don't you have might kids. be able to try stasising a group of the children and planting oh, one of those... Oh, you can stasis uh, these things? Well, I'm pretty sure that'll work, and you can stasis the group of them and maybe plant one of those line gun explodey charges. Alright, I'm also rocking a point one one, and I think I actually believe that. Do you want to try again? Or do you want to focus on the anatomically correct but anatomically misfunctioning heart? I told you, it's a broken heart. Ugh, even if that was the case. Ugh. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't know biology and I still know that's bad, but it sounds like a very EA thing. I mean, if Is they... that when they pretend to be human? <laughs> the thing is, if that was intentionally done, that would be clever. Yellow's throwing! Yellow! La, 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 la. Shoot the yellow! We are a green lantern and yellow means fear. What is that? Stasis them! Stasis the group of them. Damn it. And he only got one. I like 
that she glows yellow too. I was trying to explain game training in the way of um, early Zelda. How it trains you to just attack everything and that's how you get the... No, come on! Oh. The chicken thing? This is the worst ending of a game ever. Yeah, you might be right. I'm sure, I'm sure some of the commenters will make a Mass Effect 3 joke here, so I'll leave it to them. You have commenters? I think I'm the only one who comes. Me and me, me and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tim, power node. P -p power node. P -p power node. Power node. There's um. I recently finished Bioshock Infinite, and there's a fight where I just got sick of the dialogue. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of people who got sick of that fucking dialogue. The make us. We're surrounded by children. Stasis! Stasis! Stasis now! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, I don't think that helped me. Well, that stasising the group and then using the line gun secondary attack. That, like, grenade, light grenade thing. A light grenade? We should pick it up. Yeah, so this game is totally doing the training you to play the game thing in that you attack everything that's yellow. No! Oh. Oh. She was behind me. I had no goddamn chance. Turn around, bright eyes. This is why you always wear sunglasses. He's making that stupid face again. I need me some fucking Ray-Bans. I wonder what reflective sunglasses would do to her there. Alright, we're gonna keep going until this is done, by the way. I got plenty of time to do I dislike boss fights that haven't trained that the game has. Er, Alright. Final boss fights that the game has not trained you for. We have never oh. seen these little kids before. No, we've seen these oh, kids the before. They're just shadow kids. We haven't fought her before. Oh, by the way, when she, um, when she dies and turns, you know, opens up the heart, all the little kids die. Oh, that's cool. I kind of figured that I should just be shooting her more than anything else, but... There's so many fucking other fucking enemies. I mean, yeah, they just love to gang rape you. So stasis them and focus on her. As much as you can. Except then you die. Because there's like one dude. Unskippable! Yay, unskippable death scenes! Because everybody likes those. Especially around the fifth time around. This is why I put down the first, uh... Dead Space 2. Or Dead Space game. <laughs> the first Dead Space 2. The first Dead Space 2 of Dead all the Dead Space 2s. Well, technically there was only one Dead Space 2. What the shit? I suppose shit? that is such a thing as a first Dead Space 2. Alright, when you shoot her, the I don't know, marker... it depends on if you count Severed. No, we don't. Did anyone talk about Severed? At all? Ever? Don't think so. Yeah, there you go. Alright, move away, move away. Yeah, but I can't move away because they fucking just own me. Because Stunlock is always a good game mechanic.
That's a really good Shoot idea. Shoot the yellow! Pick up all the loot. <laughs> Alright, keep going. When you shoot her, the marker flashes, and it takes on a um, an effect of that's similar to a blood vessel, or the cells making up a blood vessel. So I just wanted to point that out, by the way. That's kind of clever. You're nerding out on us, Rachel. I'm yeah, bio nerds. I'm bio nerds. Really? Yes. Oh yay! This is the first time in my life I think I would actually appreciate a drop the difficulty button. This is some motherfucking bullshit. Agreed. This took Tim a couple tries too. Yeah, this was a pain in the ass. Is there a fucking way to fucking change this fucking fuck fuck that he fucking- Yes, go- go to fucking hell, you fucking fucks. That's a lot of fucks. What, what? You know, if we're being anatomically correct, the heart doesn't have tentacles. It doesn't? That explains why my career in open heart surgery went poorly. <laughs> Yay! Fuck you! God damn. Game developers, please take note. If your players are screaming "fuck you" like that on the final boss fight, you have done poorly. Oh god, there's more. It, no, 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 it's videoing or er, cinematographic. It's um, it's doing that thing that video games do. You know, I kind of feel like they size it. I feel your bra? Yeah, like... It's the end of the game, and I don't feel like I have done anything. Like, I just feel demoralized. I don't feel like you've accomplished anything. I don't know what you were doing there. I'm what not happened? sure what we've accomplished. Complete bastard. Was this your great plan? Dump me off and die. Hey, she yeah, picked up armor. Way. I'm crashing through the roof to get you. What? Now move your ass. Wait, no, wait, wait, Ellie, it's too late. Stay clear of the station. Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. 
Heads up. Yeah, seriously, you don't have a say. There's Dead Space 3 to make. EA wants well, money. perfect chance to play Rise of the Valkyries, and they failed. <laughs> Borderlands says that on their own. The pilots sing it. Which makes it even more awesome. Okay, this is cutscene. Yep. I, I have no control. Are you sure you have no control? Apparently I have no mouse control, but I still have to play the game. Did you mm. Don't you just love Dead Space? Don't you just, just beat the final boss of the ports? game, but nope. Still gotta keep going. Yeah, who doesn't love console ports? Oh wait, we all don't. Press E. Do not die. Do not die. Bam. Oh, of course she has a pink fucking spacesuit. God damn it. Fuck you, Ellie. We're closing the door. It's protective against all explosions. I don't know. It pretty much worked in Dead Space 1. Sure, why not? I really hope Nicole rolls around right now. Well, like she did in the first one where she was hiding behind the seat and went like, Aah. Yeah, I hope they do that again. I kind of hope they don't, but it would be entertaining. Hey, and uh, no. Oh, it's all like... What? That's she took worse. off her spacesuit. Oh, she was like, what? The nicely meta of you, you know, you're like, oh, were you expecting something? Ugh. Fuck you, game! Fuck okay, you. finally. <laughs> okay. Tim, you've been following me for eight months. You guys, uh, Rachel, Emma, you've been following me for almost that long. Colton, you've been here for like a month. Yep. You've been watching me play this game. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you guys think? Fuck you, EA. <laughs> no, yep, I'm pretty glad much. I've never bought or played this game. Don't think I missed much. I guess Emma, you agree with fuck you, EA? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I said that. Did that come through? <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure that it was clear because a bunch of us were talking at the same time. At the same time. Fuck you, EA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim. One, one less power for the road. <gasps> power node! 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 Uh, compared to the first one, it was definitely not as scary. And a lot of parts were incredibly frustrating, like that last part of the game. Basically, your feelings of shared with Isaac of demoralization were pretty much like mine. Yeah. That I ending of the game wait. was really hard. <laughs> I wanted to wait until everybody else had set their piece. Um... Colton, you hadn't weighed in. Oh, yeah, no, you did weigh in. No, like, that yeah. was the worst endgame I have ever had. Seriously? I have Holy. never had a game that pissed me off so much within, like, the last hour. So, so let's go through it. We had unbeatable guy chasing you everywhere. Yeah, we had unbeatable Out guy. Out of the nowhere um, boss fight with children that could instantly kill you. If they um, got all around you. Um, Not to mention a massive was, overabundance of gotcha horror where things just jump out of nowhere. Yep. That aesthetically was ripped off from God of War. <laughs> it, did, it did feel a lot like the end of God of War where Ares pulls you into the nightmare where you have to protect your wife and child 
from the evil doppelganger versions of yourself. Except in... Which has meaning. Especially I'm not going to say that Kratos is an incredibly deep character, but that has meaning especially to Kratos. Where you um, heal your wife and child by hugging them. Yeah. That's kind of sad. But it's just like, ah, um, god damn it. Right when the ending happened after the boss fight, and you're like, oh, this is a, you know, a sequence where I could just sit back and watch Isaac, you know, get on the airplane. And then I got hit by a rock and realized I had to play. Because the, the, cause you had no mouse look. You couldn't mouse look in well, that. You couldn't, like, rotate around. Well, true. Around Not only did you have no mouse look, but you were just watching something for, like, two minutes. Also, that because the credits started to You were sitting there. Exactly. And you're like, oh, this is part of the ending. I'm just going to sit back and watch it. This and is. No, you get hit by a rock and you have to start over. Is this something in hell? Like, doesn't it sound like a Kira Toriyama? It sounds like the ending theme to Silent Hill 2. Yeah, no, this sounds exactly like Akira Toriyama, who's the guy who writes Silent Hill music. You don't deserve this. No. You don't deserve this dead space. No, 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 no. You are not creepy. You are not subtle. You had no psychological sections. You do not have Mary. No. You do not have James. Even forgetting how much the last stretch of this game pissed me off, the game does not deserve this. Like, when you were pissed off at it Silent Hill... It had almost... It, it had potential. It had so much potential. I remember... It could have been a good contender. Yeah. I remember early episodes watching, you know, like, before we got on the tram and all that shit. You know, some of the sequences where, like, you are running through it and it was yellow-tinged and then you, like, run up on the station and... Nicole is there. Alright, this is not a horror game. I saw someone say, I love horror games. This is not a horror game. It could have been. The first one was a horror game. I will even give the first one that. Well, see, the first one, it may not have been a really awesome, like, epic horror game, but it was a horror game at first. Uh, it wasn't even a the scary game. The silent protagonist. I mean, the, no, no, give, the first given one, that it, isn't was... e it wasn't even a horror game. The first one. It was better than this. Yes, it was. That's the only reason why I will give it the horror game badge. <laughs> because it was more horror than this one. It had half a sense of subtlety that was ruined by the combat sequences. Yeah. That is yeah. the, the only I reason. Still, I still think that Dead Space 1 would be an amazing game if you were able to go in there and take out literally half the monsters. You know, I think they're right. With yeah. That, yeah. half the monsters, there'd actually be something resembling suspense. Yeah. Yeah. Much. Especially a lot of the monsters where you were expecting them. I played home, and I was. Fucking it became too out. easy to you know to, to you know to guess. Oh, there's a monster probably coming up, and then lo and behold, the monster pops out of a grate. It's like every grate had a monster in it. It's like it ruins the suspense of. You th wondering when the next it monster's gonna from, come. Does that great of a monster Wait, in it what? too? I better shoot that great. There's something in it. Exactly. So there was like, okay, so let's take a recap of the, the experience that I've had playing Dead Space today. Oh, there you were those were two pissed. identical rooms. You were pissed the whole time. There were those two identical <laughs> rooms that just like owned me because they just kept coming. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's, what she that's said. not completely out of place for this game. <laughs> you know, that shit has happened. It took me, what, four tries to get through it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. That's not completely off for, for Dead Space 2. And then I get through it, but then the next part of it, the only thing that's left is this whole ending sequence where, where there's immortal bad guy who gets through doors that you close in front of his face magically. And elevators. <laughs> yeah. Yes, somehow he doesn't need the elevator, and he's just there, poof, holy shit. And that, um... There's this whole section where you space. can't pay attention to anything, where there's all these, you know, useful power-ups and ammo and whatever the fuck else might have been there that you can't, that you don't have time to get. Well, the, and then, like, like I was saying, I mean, it was... It would be dangerous to do that because then he'll keep sneaking up on you and hitting you, and that would probably would have been even more frustrating. Plus, yeah. 
like you found out, the boss fight gave you full health. Is that a spine? I knew that was coming. I forgot all about the um, the fact that you had to do the flying around trying to get into the spaceship yeah, afterward, yeah, yeah, yeah. where your health that, may have mattered. That, that, but that whole not spot really. is just nothing but um, stasis. That is a stasis test. Yeah, and then there was the boss fight that was like the end of the first God of War game, Ugh. but shittier. Like, but without the emotional depth. It it was. You, you know, you fucked up with your protagonist when Kratos has more emotional. <laughs> that that first God of War game was fucking deep. You got it. Even God of Cheap was fucking. Interesting. Yeah, I was I was playing the first God of War game. She was sitting on the couch with me. Yeah, Ares shouts, "I am the God of War!" And while well, he's like pulling you in the nightmare, just like being cheap and un, you know, unblockable no, 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 no. attacks he's and kicking your ass. Nightmare. He's doing that thing where he like levitates off the ground and then all his swords point at you and then fucking attack. Yeah, and the un the unblockable attack. Yeah, and the thing is, is that it's got a reach of half the field that you're in. Yeah. So unless he's on one side of the field and you're on the other, that's how it works. But he moves too quickly for that to happen. So he is so the, he's god basically the god of cheap. Basically, yeah. and I, I literally happen. shouted when, when I was playing this game, and he's like, "I am the god of war," and I'm like, "You are the god of cheap." But basically, how you have to do that is he has to be on one side, and you have to duck roll and try to get to the other side as fast as you possibly can. But he moves. Too happen. So that so. is the unblockable, unavoidable attack. And you just have to have enough help to take it. Yeah. But still, while That you're... wasn't as bad as this, because this, I was being killed by child monsters who I had no possibility of ever seeing. Why were they child monsters? God knows. Like, see... That's the thing. If it was just her, and if it was, like, monsters that were shaped like Ellie and Strauss and Kendra and that black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whose name I can't, I can't remember. Um, or even the invincible monster. People that you have emotionally connected with. <laughs> they're just using child monsters because, hey, they're Ghost fucking children. Ghost child monsters. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking children, you know? It's not even, like... Because this game has already trained your brain to kill babies and ch children. It's not like you have an emotional connection to them whatsoever. You don't... This game does not ever give you a break to pause to realize what you've done. That you have just killed children. It just says, this is an enemy, you need to kill it. 